A color frenzy. Trisha Guild boldly combines patterns, colors, and materials, creating brightly colored rooms that break with all conventions. The British artist has a flair for the right combination. <laughs> okay, and look at that. To me, it's, it's just in my heart, how I use color. If you want to see my passion for color, it's all over here, whether it's these beautiful soft shades of apricot. Fabrics, accessories, wallpaper, and furniture. Trisha Guild's collections have made her a European design icon. From the design to the production, every step of the process is equally important to her. Trisha Guild wants not only to create beautiful products, her world of colors should be more than just decoration. When I first started, this word lifestyle didn't exist. I think it's really important to show people different ideas of how they can live so that we're kind of an interaction. And that is what creating lifestyle is all about. It's, it's about creating a space that people will enjoy to be within. In 1970, Guild established the company Designers Guild in a small store on King's Road in London. Today, the company is known worldwide. So this is where we started and I had 30 fabrics and now I have 6,000 fabrics. I wanted to show people that you could live with colour and I'm constantly learning, I'm constantly trying for something new and that's what I've always wanted to do. I suppose I like a risky life. <laughs> Trisha Guild always swims against the current she made floral wallpapers socially acceptable when minimalism was in fashion. She likes to spend time in places that provide inspiration for her work. You've got to keep looking. I think that's what's important for me, is am I alive enough to keep looking around me and not ignoring my surroundings, wherever that is, whether it's in India or whether it's here. The Fashion and Textile Museum in London is now showing Trisha Guild's complete life work for the first time, work from five decades. Even back in the 1970s, her search for fabrics and colors led her as far as India. India, as you know, has always been kind of such a strong inspiration for me. Because, I mean, firstly, uh, there's a spirit in India that touched my heart from the first time I went there. I mean, they know more about textiles in their soul than probably we'll ever know. The designer tries to reinvent herself with every collection. Repeating recipes for success is out of the question for her. And trends? She just ignores them. I have a lot of information about what people are liking. But you cannot design a collection like that. You have to, for me, I have to design it because I feel that it's the right thing. To me, it's all the same thing, you know, a lifestyle. The space, how it looks, how it functions, how we eat, how the world is going to survive. To me, it's all part of the same thing. She continues to draw inspiration from all over the world to make living spaces more colorful and lively. Trisha Guild, the Grand Dame of Design.